So I've never played this. I don't know what to expect. Uh, I barely know what the game's about. I really don't. I've not watched any trailers, not watched any gameplay, so no. I've never played. We're going to make it a little brighter for you guys on stream. Please enter the current time. Okay. For me, it is 113. Okay. Let me make sure that all this is good. Sub I want to make sure subtitles are on as well. Uh, subtitles are on. I was worried that it was going to throw something at me at the very beginning before the game even starts. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly this job and Stanley was happy well Stanley was happy okay we're good and then one day something very peculiar happened something that would forever change Stanley something he would never quite forget he had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow no one had showed up to give him instructions call a meeting or even say Hi. Never in all Demon his King years thanks of the, the company reset, had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All right, I'm immediately looking for things to do. I'm immediately looking for, for... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Are there jobs like this? Do, do jobs like this exist? There's no way that there are jobs like this that where one person presses a button and doesn't know why, right? No way that there's a job like that. There's no way. Stanley went around touching every little thing in Sarah, the I've office, never played it before. but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. I mean, Severance is a television show. Like, you, I feel like you know what you're doing. Like, you know why you're doing something, like if you're in customer service, right? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No, I didn't. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. <laughs> Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <laughs> don't, don't, game, game's not going to tell me what to do. The game, it, the game is... <sighs> Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. <laughs> Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. But eager to get back to business, <laughs> Stanley took the first open door on his left. That's fun. That's fun. No, I didn't. 
I wanted to check this. Damn, it was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. This video game better stop telling me what to do. And the, now the game knows that I'm not going to follow its instructions, so I have to follow its instructions now, right? <laughs> Cable. <laughs> Creepy pasta gifted to Giggle Fits. The perfect name. I right, need, need a card for that. Giggle Fits, spread that love. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's well, that's great. You've been I'm a main character. Stanley, someone you've DJ Priest, thanks for the resub, DJ. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. What? Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Hey, who's her? Who's her? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. Thank Bankman. To put your work aside. Thank you, Dank, for the resub. To let her back into your life. Oh, Stanley's She's been waiting. Stanley's in love? Or Stanley has a dog? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? What? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on Who's here. Who's the fucking narrator? Who's the narrator? I don't like this. This is a very sad story oh. about the death of a man. I want to know who the narrator is. I don't want to press Y. No, I'm pressing N. N. Spacebar. I don't want to. I don't want to. Fine. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. Boring? And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. I don't want to. F. Y. N. P. Q. E. R. Wait, what was that? What's, what, does he, what does E do? Oh, E is, is like E is an interaction maybe? Ah. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Bastard. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. Those are things I have to do One to be a human. feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. What? I have to eat to be a human, narrator. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Now that's not true at all. Y. E. F. N. M. I don't want to watch TV. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. <laughs> Spend time with the boys. No, N. Ah. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. 
It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought yeah, right, that native. his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. I want to down one path lay jump. an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Oh, I have a kid. It was such a wonderful hey, a fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it I've again. Changed. And then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. No, I can't leave. Okay, that sounds nice. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Okay, well, I go to sleep, I guess. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. I hear you, narrator. He won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. We're going to... You know what? They don't know how long I can wait, chat. They have no idea how long. You know that I could wait probably forever? You know that? I could probably wait forever. That's the best part of this. Is that I get to hang out with you guys. I get to hang out with you guys while we wait. So we can talk about things. I can thank you guys for bits and subs. We can hang out, talk about your life. I can, uh, we can, what else can we do? Pass the time with word games? There's an achievement if you close the game and don't play it for five years. <laughs> I'm not going to do it, chat. No. Here, I'll put, you know what? I'll press another button. I'll press another button. We'll listen to my neighbor drill outside. Here, I'm pressing other buttons. What do you think about that? I'm pressing a C. I'm pressing E. Q. Shift L. I'm afraid to do that. Backbone. Press escape. Yeah, I can press escape. Hundred cups of coffee. I'm gonna regret it. Would it, would it count if you plugged in a different keyboard and pressed L on that one? That's a good question. I will not take the L. How about K right next to it? Or P. O. Y. Fuck. Shit. Alright, how about this, guys? I have decided... I have decided that if I press L, I'm doing it because I chose to. If I press L, I'm doing it because I chose to, not the game telling me to. So I'm doing it right now. I chose to do this. You see? Can he just not hear me? I chose to. How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains <laughs> here, sweet. he's electing to kill himself? Sweet, you got gifted, by the way. How can I get way. him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? What? No, I want to question everything. Fuck. This is not fair. Of course I'm going to do this. I just paid whatever, 25 bucks for this game. Of course I'm going to do this. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. <laughs> Coffee, you told Perhaps, me to. Well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. 
and I tried again, and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again, and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried... Okay. Alright. Alright, guys. I died. That's not peer pressure. That's the game telling me to, what to do what could it mean? in order to progress. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. That's not fair. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Not fair. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I think so, Wilbur. I think that was all because I went through the right door. Let me in! I want... Oh, there we go. Wait, what's over here? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I want to look at a broom. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. No way. There's got to be something in here. Why else would the door open? It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. Fuck you! He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Alright, I'm standing right here. Are you... are you really still in the broom closet? Yes. Standing around doing nothing? Why? I want to be here Please forever. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Just let me be in the broom closet. Why can't I be in the broom closet? You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I don't believe it. I never would have thought. That to sounds like it. sarcasm to me. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, "Ow." Did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> this game is an asshole, Candace. You're right. This game Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. What? He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. What? That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. What? So what? What's wrong with hookers? Or drugs, for that matter. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here. Did he hear me call an asshole? Malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system, and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey I am to not leaving this broom closet now. Human physiological vulnerability. They made me double it's down. Indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. They made me double Please down. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not exactly in them. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. No. I won't. Nope. Richie. Thanks for the resub, Richie. Very much. See, this is easy now. I could do this forever. 
I can hang out here forever. Go out then back in. I'm afraid they're going to close the door on me. Here. Ah, you too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. <laughs> Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. There's, there has to be a... Come on. There's got to be a thing, right? Alright, let's see. It didn't close the door. Okay, good. I think I already got the dialogue that goes along with that. I'm afraid to st if I stay in the closet. All right, fine. I'll wait. It Kaizen seemed like that was the end of the bit. Seemed like that was the end of the bit there. That when I walked out and back in, and they said a second player. I think that might have been, might have been the end of the. The dialogue, right? Chat? Right? <sighs> Fine. Wait, hold on. Fine. That's because I chose to do it. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Well, that's nice. Atomize, you want me to go back? Why? Atomize, why are you panicking? I think all the doors are closed now. Oh, okay, alright. I thought you were panicking because you knew something. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any That's a logical loop. sense. That's a loop. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? <laughs> why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying oh. and began to gently float above oh. the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through oh, I'm space lucid dreaming. a magical star field. And it too appeared. I'm it lucid was dreaming. so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me Thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. <laughs> and while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? 
believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Am I still floating? Now hearing the voice speak these words, oh, Am I still flying? I want to be flying. Stanley. After all, he knew for certain beyond a doubt that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, <coughs> it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Oh no. Stanley began screaming. <laughs> Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, hmm. and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. No! And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Is that Stanley? Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. No! I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension the rest of her life she had no time for this so it was only a moment that she stood there staring down at the body oh rabbit is this a true and then ending she turned and ran that's the true ending of this game or one of the true endings all of his co-workers were gone what could it mean? Stanley decided All to right, go to we're the gonna, meeting room. We're gonna Perhaps do what the narrator says here. We're gonna do what the narrator says. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. <laughs> I didn't notice he might this. find an answer Monetize there. Monetize free to play. <laughs> All right. Coming to a staircase, upstairs. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh, if you ever have a boss that says this and means it, leave your job immediately. Leave your job immediately. That Don't ever do that. There's no mirror. This is, this is a nightmare. Right here, this is a nightmare. I have had bosses like that. What? Who kills a panda?
That's right, Vins. Never. I'm trying to make sure I don't do any of the things the game wants me to do. <laughs> Leave Ketchup. You guys often think, I often think, who makes elevator music? I always think that. Like, who, who actually sits down to compose elevator music? Because somebody's got to make it. Oh yeah, the narrator is humming, you're right. Beer, beer is like, no, I refuse. Uh, PT was that. PT was exactly that. Cuddle Killer. Thank you for the resub, Cuddle, very much. I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I think. Are we stuck? Are we stuck? I wanted to see how long this would go. You guys can hear my uh, neighbor drilling very large holes into their walls outside. Isaac Schultz, you are right. You are only stuck if you try to get out and can't. If you never try to get out, you'll never be stuck. You're exactly right. Grenade, you know what? I don't want to hit those buttons. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want a grenade. Aaron, you totally are. All right, let's see here. Hold on. Oh, can I open the door? No. What happens if I press up again, even though I'm going up? Well, that's odd. Well, that's odd. Hold on a minute.
Alright, what happens if I press up when I'm going down? down when I'm going down. I bet it slows down and opens up in the same spot. Shit. Shit. Can you press the button and leave the elevator before the doors close? Oh, good question. Let's try. Is it really retro? Awesome. Nope. Nope. Invisible wall. button I press. Grenade? I would love to do that. Oh, retro. Port retro. Remember, what you say is public. What you say is public here on Twitch. Keep that in mind. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Hmm. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Two, eight, four, five. Oh, yeah, boob. Hold on, I gotta try boob. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, <laughs> and the door what? just opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the storm. No. Well, whoop de do. Oh. Come on. Let me try other ones. No oh, scary elevator. I want to fall down there. Do, 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 do. I did not press down. You saw me press up. You saw me press on up. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Whoops, nope, uh, never mind. <laughs> Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Good. Save me. Yeah. Why did Stanley do that? Yeah. When he knew that it would yeah, just back to his boss's office. Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. Is it going to load again, too? Oh, it is. 
I don't even know if the game needs to load. Uh, Desi Devoid. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. <laughs> Thank you, office. Desi, for the prime. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive, rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. All right, <laughs> fuck off. I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. All right. All right. Jeez. Dripping with sarcasm. Incredible. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. I Ladies pressed up. How does he keep coming up? I with pressed all of this? up, narrator. Surely this time Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he? <laughs> Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky <laughs> corridor? No. It's time once again to go back up in the elevator. I can't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? The suspense is killing me. I like the game. <laughs> the game is actually planned for this. <laughs> I like that it's planned for the fact that I do it twice. Smarm, exactly. Oh my god. It's the boss's office. <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. Oh. <laughs> Genius. Okay, I'm ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with... No! No, wait! No! I need more time to process. What? All right. Now the game's mad at me. Now the game's mad at me. I love it. I've made the game mad at me. This is great. Yeah. Eat shit, game. All right. I have fully come to terms with it. I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. Eat shit. As before, I turn Deuce. to your expert Thank you, Deuce, eye for the for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. Okay, here we go. Of course. Going back down in the elevator. How did I not anticipate it? I mean, sure, now it's obvious, but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. I had no frame of reference to even anticipate it. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision making revelatory. is. A breath of fresh air in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. Guys, you know what I'm going to do. You know what I'm going to do when I get to the bottom. You know what I'm doing. Oh, he's not even talking to me anymore, is he? Hmm. You know what? I just thought of something. Hold on, let's stop for a moment. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. But the suspense, the agony of waiting and anticipating and having to guess, that's the real thrill. Oh, I simply don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious, so fleeting. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice and slow? <laughs> there we go. Are they punishing Isn't me? Isn't this so much more exciting? You know, Stanley, it seems like nowadays the only they thing punishing that audiences me for this? want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible. They're punishing they me. They big, explosive moments flung right in their faces from the very moment that things get started. But where's the tension? Where's the trust in the audience to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the story? The characters. There's more content. Why aren't You're right, Pius. Time to imagine the surprises, to have to think and to anticipate 
and then to marvel at the eventual reveal. This is storytelling, Stanley. What you and I are doing right now, this is the most exciting narrative to be developed in years. And it's really all because of you. That's right. Thank You're you very much, video game. You're the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact Hello, same so. locations over and over. Truly, I mean it. This is unique and different. It's not like anything else out there. You see, I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. I want to have to think. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. We're being fed such unimaginative <laughs> drivel all the time, and we all know it. Which is why we're so starved for content that makes us feel sharp and vital and alive. That's why people like you so much, Stanley. Because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. You're a role model, this is you great. know. People look up to you. Which is why, though I didn't know when to spring this on you, but, well, I've gathered a little press conference for you. So that you can talk about your work and your storytelling and your life. Yes, I know you're not much for the public eye, but I thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. They really look up to you, Stanley. I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. <laughs> this is the kind of gesture that might leave a tremendous All right, impact so this on is them the long for the one. better. Oh, good, we're here. This is the long one. So... Whoa! Okay, the room where we're holding the press conference should be just around the Whoa. corner here somewhere. Okay. All right. I did not expect this to change. I can't go back down, otherwise I totally would. Uh, Ness, thank you for the resub, Ness. Yeah, I can't. I wish I, I would totally go back down. There's that bag again. Yeah, hipcads. That's it. I. That's the goal is to just constantly try and fuck this up. <laughs> ah, yes. Here it is. Just through this door. I want to go over there. Have the developers of this game made anything else? Have the developers of like have they written anything else or developed any other games? I can't jump. Otherwise, I. I mean, like, well, spacebar is not jump. Uh, maybe oh there it is yeah just trying to get <laughs> achievement unlocked get your first achievement I'm not in a jump circle is there a jump circle this is great I actually really enjoy this a lot I'm, re I'm really enjoying this <laughs> this is like kind of right up my alley All right, are you ready? I've told them you're going to speak a little bit about the nature of surprise in storytelling and what it means to craft a truly unpredictable narrative. Oh, don't worry. You'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. I'm, I'm really proud of you, Stanley. Okay, it looks like they're ready for you. Go get them. Ah, oh, Stanley has a son? Oh, I'm like my boss is rooting me on. I love the way you ride the elevator. Look at this. That's really nice of them. There's me. Oh my gosh, specimen. Robin, we got Robin in here? Look at that. No, that's, that's death. Voice box is in here too? Wow, we got a lot of we got a lot of the chat, a lot of the old uh, <laughs> wolf. The old guard is here. Voice box loves Robin. I know. Uh, whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, come on. Don't make me start over. Come on, let me live my life of fame and riches. Rabbit, thanks for gifting to voice box. That was very nice of you, Rabbit. Come on. That's bull.
bullshit. That is bullshit. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh yeah, hipcats. I'll. I'm sure I'll get there. I'm sure I'll get to when the. Stanley came to the a part when I'm asking for hints. Chat. Let me. The door on his left. Let me do uh, do some of this myself, and then we'll 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 do the do the hints. Yet there was not a That's single right. Maybe person I was. here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. <laughs> I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. <laughs> Please take your time. All right, let's see how long. Is there an achievement for waiting in the broom closet a long time? Can I close the door on myself, I wonder? I can. I love the broom closet. I love this. Do I have 24 hour broom closet stream? Uh, yeah, I saw that, Isaac. Just bragging rights? Well, I got the I got the broom closet bragging rights here. It's hard to say fast. Let's see if the game. No. Huh? Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. So before I went in here, the elevator did nothing. And, and actually didn't activate anything didn't activate anything for the narrator either strangely Gooses. That hype train's ready to go. That hype train's ready to go, Gooses. Whenever we beat the hype train, I'm gonna give away two copies of this game. Two copies of maybe the greatest game that has ever been made. The Stanley Parable. Ultra Deluxe Edition. Whenever we beat that hype train. Whenever we beat it. On any platform. Oh! Ox Jelly, thank you for the Bezos Bucks. Never read 13. Never. Ecto Spaz, thanks for the bits. 300 of them. Not, I, like I said, never. Oh! My gosh, Robin. You're almost a 1,000 specimen. Almost a 1,000 specimen. I think I feel like we see you like it's like once every three months. I would love to see you more, specimen, but I know you're busy. Specimen gifted to Zach Sporn and Thad, and Star Pilot, Ketner, Konang. Maybe you're lurking, specimen. Maybe you're lurking. Wolf, gifting 10. Come on by anytime, specimen. You know that. Come say hi. You're an old friend of ours. Strap Wolf gifted to Tomas Boonti, Jitra, Mr. Yuji, Kangjin, Nova, C Spicy Wiener, Dinosaur, Steamboat Tunes, Aloof Box, and Surgeon Hater. Thank you very much. Whoa! We're three events away from starting the hype train. It's going to be pretty far along. <laughs> Hipcads, I like that. Red third ten got gifted from at zero mize. Red third ten do something nice for someone else maybe. Doesn't have to be another sub ever. Pink sharpie two hundred bits. Are we gonna do? 
an elevator hype train right now? Are we going to do an elevator hype train? We're just about to start it. We're just about to. I did not expect that. Hey, Trey Phil. Happy Tuesday. Goose day to you, Trey Phil. Sean76, thank you, Sean, for the resub. Robin coming back. Appreciate it, Specimen. You know that. You know that, Specimen. Thank you very much, Specimen, Sean. Pink Sharpie. Gifting five new people. Trey, Mogadon, Zyper, Our Gods, Wombat. Thanks, Pink Sharpie. Big bounce. Thank you for the resub. Big bounce. Hey, specimen. Hey, specimen. What? What's up? Oh, specimen. I, I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're having a good day. Jenkins. I was just thinking about you the other day, Jenkins. Hey, voice box. I love you too. <laughs> I can't say I love you because I don't actually know you. Voice box. I feel like I, I know pretty well. Specimen. I feel like I know pretty well. But I love you is very serious. Jenkins gifted to Big Hutters, Chili Sock, Sjorn Hub, Shabby Streamer, Noise Optics. Jenkins, I was just thinking about you the other day when you were uh, gifting subs for me killing nobles in Bannerlord, and I love that. I was just thinking about that the other day. Stowaway gifted to Kaya Agnes, and T Fried gifted to Parkour. Hey. Do something nice for someone else if you got gifted with any one of these amazing gooses. Isaac Schultz is officially back. Halfway through the hype train right now. We're halfway through the hype train. When we beat it, I give away two copies of the video game I'm playing currently right now. It's called the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition. I've never played it before. I don't know what it's about. It seems like it's about life. Or elevators. One of the two. Where's Wally West? Thanks, Wally West, for the reset. Oh, specimen. Come on now. My my favorite what's my favorite game? My favorite game, my favorite franchise is Battlefield. And one of my favorite games of all time is Breath of the Wild. I love Breath of the Wild. We got two minutes left on the old hype train here. Pink Sharpie with another thousand bits. On top of the five gift and something gift. Well, hey, Pink Sharpie. Me too, Spag. Me too. Great stowaway. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. Right. Uh huh. Oh, 
I'll only like I still enjoyed the film. Still enjoyed the film. That was fun. But I thank you for saying that. All right, Gooses, we've got one minute left. One minute left on the old high train here. We're about halfway through it. If we beat it, I give away two copies of... Not me. Stanley Parable. Ultra Deluxe Edition. Like Thaf. Thaf just won one earlier. Hey, Thaf gifted the Grave Smacker. Thanks, Thaf. Ah, feels good. Mm. Oh, good. Good, like, that's, that means you're, that's, that's a normal, that's okay. That's a normal uh, thing that you should be experiencing. You don't want to get upset. <laughs> Gooses. Great job on the hype train, everybody. Great job on the hype train. We'll get them next time, huh? We'll get them next time. Culkin, thanks for the resub, Culkin. We get them next time, you know? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. No. That kind I of didn't. anxiety isn't healthy. Oh, hi, so Boris. So he relaxed for Dear a few partner. moments with some calming New Age music. Oh. What the? F just let me through the door. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Narrator? You know what I'm doing. Whoops. Nope. Uh, never mind. Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. Wait a minute. Hold on. So was that the same dialogue that I got the first time I went back up? I think it was. Do, 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 do. I think. Do, 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 do. Wait a minute, hold on. Wait a second. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was hey, before you birthday, got Zandy. onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive, rapid fire of Where's critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Do, do. I am rudder bones. Do. Incredible. Do, 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 do. Now he's getting back into the elevator. All right, so we already did again. that. Ladies and gentlemen, we already did that. How does he keep coming up with all of this? Now I have to do. Surely this time Stanley will walk forward. Yes, into the spooky I will. Corridor. I will. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. No, we're not doing that. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. I don't believe you. I don't believe you at all. Do, 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 do. The door behind him was not shut. Do. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Nope, not going to. Do, 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 do. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward. That's right. And willingly confront his death. Correct. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Hey, Jimmy. All right, I'm going back. I'm falling through. Is it going to make me do the same thing? Is it going to... Is it? Will it be a violent death? I'm scared too. But you know what, guys? I'm going to use that fear. I'm going to use it to confront my biggest fear. Which is falling into a pit. See, no big As deal. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. No. Farewell, Stanley. What? No. Let me out. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, <laughs> as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, hey, Stanley Sir was obliterated Thank you. as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Nope. Yes. Da, 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 da. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Cool. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from <gasps> the moment he hit start? Wait a minute, hold on. Okay, so is this where I this is where I start, right? And then There's the two the two doors. This is so cool. This is so fun. I love to design this. Oh, interesting. Good old filing cabinets, right? Office computers, good. Who else is on there? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do 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 do. Each sound is a mix of a keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. Oh, the credits! Is this the end of the game? Some of the stuff here is from the beta of the game. This is so cool. This is so neat. Yeah, it's one of them. Is this the only way to see the credits, or do they will they play the credits on other endings too? Oh, really, Ractus? That's so cool. <laughs> it's like a museum for the video game. It's a literal museum for the video game. Oh, these are emails to the narrator? Wow. What a great idea.
What a, what a fantastic idea to do this. This is... I mean, this is like nothing I've ever seen before. Do, 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 do. Oh, the different flow charts. That was fun, Justin. I haven't seen these yet. What's all this shit? What the fuck is all this shit? Do, do, do. There's the trailer. Countdown desk. I haven't seen any of this stuff. How did I get to the ending of this without seeing any of this. Oh no, am I lost? I may be lost. Uh, with the new content, I think you can get about 30 hours out of this game. Am I lost? I hope I'm... Please tell me I'm not lost. I'm gonna go over here and <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Oh, it's like Batman and Joker. But listen to me. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. No. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't Well, what was that? Well, that... I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. This is the story. I'm not sure. All of his co I was afraid. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to I the I was meeting. afraid. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Do I want to know? Nah, that's okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, oh, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Who does this? Hoping he might find an answer there. Who blocks off the broom closet? That's my that's my place. That's my happy my happy place. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his Who boss's does office. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, <laughs> hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. I wish I could go back in the closet, but I can't. It was walled off. Yeah, the narrator is petty. You're right. <laughs> Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, oh, I already got the big Stanley clap. would meet his I already got that death. one. I'm curious to see. I want to go behind him was all the way to shut. the end and get killed. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. I want to see what happens when I die. When the lady kills me. Can you turn on the right path to the crusher thing? 
Justice, I don't, I can't leave this, this little As box. As the machine whirred into motion, and Stanley was inched closer and, and closer I can't jump out of it, so I don't know how, I don't it think I can leave this. His life had been of no consequence whatsoever. It Stanley looks like I can, but I don't think picture. I can. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the like I, would, I want to go over there. Man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this. Yeah, Justice, I can't leave any of this. So I know the pipe. I'm, I'm aware of the pipe, but I can't leave Stanley. it. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. As Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal uh, I've gotten doors. a few achievements, but not In a single all visceral of them. instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see <laughs> beer, that beer. Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Yeah, I'm just going to go to the end and see. Rather than hitting uh, quit... I was going to see what happens when I die. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. So I'm gonna die this time. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let uh, Joe John, it's uh, on the basically the top sellers of Steam right now because they just released a new version of it. Ooh, perhaps that's fun. Okay, so that just restarts me. Got it. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. Oh, got, all right, Tesseract, you got it. When Stanley Magnus! came to a set What's of up, two Magnus? open doors, he entered the door on his left. We know what happens. I die. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer in. there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Here's the door, just go. <laughs> oh wait, I can. Where's where's the eight? Oh there it was. Well, I tried to Tesseract. Didn't seem to work, because I think since the door opened automatically, it wouldn't matter. Oh, I have to do it eight times? Oh. <laughs> Alright. Just for, is it just for an achievement? Is there any dialogue? Whoops. Nope. Uh, never mind. Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. That's right, Vins. Exactly. Okay, let's go back. Press those buttons over and over. 
Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. Eight. This has fleshed out the plot of the story <laughs> in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. Eight. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Well, all, all it was, I didn't even get an achievement. All it was was somebody yelling eight. Incredible. That's it. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? Eight. All right, here we go. Surely this time, Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor. Stanley walks straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh, really, Heavenly Chair? That's hilarious. Eight. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Absolutely, I did. Yeah, Cerebro, that's what I thought. Either that or the architect. Employee observation protocol. Yeah, this is it's, it's very much like Portal the more I play it. Now the monitors jump to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co workers. Huh. It showed the what was it, 104 of so was fired? Many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom. Yeah, 104 was fired, nothing. 601 was fired. 104 and 601. Interesting. I'm still there. Okay. Oh, Jesus, I have been trying to. The whole time. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! There was it a was glitch. Unthinkable. There were a couple glitches Wasn't on those it? screens. Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life it is, B. blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Hmm. Hmm. I really like the set pieces too, they're really fun. Hmm. Oh. What's up there? Is that where I came from? No. Wait, is it? Wait a second? I open that gate. There's a three over here somewhere. Where'd my three go? Hmm. Where'd my three go? I see five over there.
There's the three. Gotta be a four in here because I know where the five is. I don't want to go down there yet. It'll be up there, but I don't know how to get up there. Eight. Is that the four up there? It is the four. Shit. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I wonder if the if the buttons open up those uh Hey Ryan! Ryan's the I I spent my morning with Ryan. Ryan, thanks for gifting to uh, Wild Griffalo, Maria Joe Secure, Dr. Poo Sucks, Bobby Corver, and Zillion, OMFG, it's BK, Mass Blaster, User, Acorns, and RT Patrick. Thank you, Ryan D Berry, inside game supporter and uh my uh my channel supporter as well. Hey, Tormund! Hello, Tormund. Thanks for the resub. Very much. The room has to be turned on first. But if I walk down here, it's going to close the doors. No? I'm really worried. And when at last he found the source of the room's... Oh, stab me. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? <laughs> oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's Yoda. only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. What? I didn't do In that. The event that this machine is activated Sir Paper Baghead, thanks for the resub. DNA identification, Thank you, Sir Paper. Nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say... Um, Two minutes. Two minutes? Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. What? You're gonna die. Nothing happened? Away. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. Oh, there's the door. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance no. of the story. Sometimes what? when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your no. office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and what then the dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the no, ground, I don't have enough time. swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control. Chief Goral, thanks for the resub. You, it's quite the computer's saying number four, I yeah. To see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will but be every time even I've looked better. at it, it says four. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. See? But I'm enjoying four. this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? 
These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Why was now? my door closed? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big <laughs> red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you I have no I've never seen a gold foreign here, so I have this no idea what to press. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a Don't big you dare. Boom, then nothing. No ending here. Don't Just you dare. Being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing <laughs> Isaac every Schultz. second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Well, that was fun. That's something new, at least. Okay. We know what to All do now. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <gasps> new content? Oh, new content? What does that mean? New content. New content? Yes! Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 <laughs> with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences <laughs> the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Yes, Jesus, oh, well, I did. this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Wait, what was over there? I want to see what's over there. Let me go through over there. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... Uh, oh, here we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if... Um, oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Oh, the jump circle. Guys, it's it is so rare that a video game makes me laugh a lot. Portal's right. the only one to do it. All this right, is this is making me laugh. It's the jump Whoa. circle. Wait, I only have 33 jumps remaining? Come on. That's it? <laughs> ben. This is all? Oh, 
Vince, this is not fair. I'm gonna run out of jumps right away. This is... Oh, that's what I paid for? The new content? Is, is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness, another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not Reload positive. more jump it's bucks? Just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new <laughs> content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. <laughs> Thank Let's God. I'm ready for whatever it is. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? <laughs> this is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for what? no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started Ryan. on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended. I, I, I intend to find get a refund on that and hold them personally accountable. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. Yeah, that's your fault, narrator. You're still with me. That's your fault. You built up too much hype. And we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills. No gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Oh, thank God. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Psst. Stanley. Now we got ourselves some new... over here. In the vent. New content. Oh, you don't want to see the cool surprise I made for you? Well, fine. You're a dork anyway, so who cares? You call me a dork? I'm not going to go in that vent yet. I wanted to do this again. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, I wanted to do this again because I wanted to see if I can prevent there. the explosion. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase. Oh, I've done the Stanley broom closet. I can't get in the broom closet. You keep telling me to go in there and it's it's walled off, guys. Here's the door, just go. Eight. <laughs> there we go, I got the achievement that time. <laughs> I got the achievement that time. Eight. <laughs> Bias. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this Eight. place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Oh man, Ractus, that'd be so cool. Fuck, that'd be awesome. Have I mashed jump a bunch? Yeah, I did. I got the, uh, tried to jump, uh, achievement earlier. Now the monitors jumped to life. So Their same deal, 104 revealed. and 601. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's there are graphs on that the one, and then there's so many individuals a glitch on this one. Images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, 104, 601, monitored in this place where freedom. 528 and 028, I think it is. Yeah, I'll do my best to remember those numbers. This mind control facility. It was too hard. I'm sure there's to a secret here, yeah. Be true. 
Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? But there's nothing I can... There's really nothing I can do. Other than, well, I can't even press the buttons over and over. <gasps> oh, I can't fall off. Nah, it's all right. Just, no, we'll just wander around and see if we can figure it out. It. He couldn't accept it. His own life pirate? in someone else's Is control. Pirate? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof: the heart of the operation, controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very So there's place. the three. And as the cold reality of his There's the one, two, there's the four, in, and there's the five Stanley on this side. Decided that this I'm still not clear as to what to do here. Its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? So that it's door your just closes. time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Blue three. Oh, this is much better than what I had in what, mind. Does this do anything what a shame if I... we have so little time left to enjoy it. No. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one oh. of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine, I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested what? away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the oh. call. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow. You know what? Trees. Hold on a minute. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no Hold idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing. Oh, in this room. I can't turn it off. These numbered buttons. <laughs> no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? No. 
I don't. But you really believe there's an answer? How many times will you replay this bit, looking desperately for a solution? Maybe there's not an answer. Ten, a hundred, a thousand? I look forward to finding out and to watching the bomb go off each time you fail. Just you and me and the wretching explosion of fire and metal over and over all. and over for all of it. Not chat. And Stanley died again. And Stanley died again. And Stanley died again. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you what do you mean goodbye? To goodbye? Life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All no. a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. No! End time! Welcome in, everybody. I've never played before, Hang Time. I've never played this game before. Hey, welcome in, everyone. I am, uh, this is my first time playing Stanley Parable. And it's the uh, Ultra Deluxe Edition they just released. So I've never touched it. I don't know what to do. And I've experienced almost two hours of the game so far. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. So thank you uh, very much, Hang Time, for the raid. I hope your uh, stream was fantastic. And I also hope that you can help me out playing... Uh... I'm not going in the vent. Stanley! Nope, not going in the vent. Here in... Oh, you don't want to see the cool surprise I made for you? Well, fine. No, I don't. Anyway, so who cares? I, um, yeah, I'm going to go do that again, but I... When is there a way? A is there a way out of that chat? So I'm gonna need your help this time. Left. I'm gonna need your help this time to figure out how to get away from the Yet explosion. I'm gonna do the vent after I either. do the explosion. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. There's no beating the bomb. Just turn Stanley off the machine. upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, you lose if you turn on the machine. Okay. Here's the door. Just go. Gotcha. Well, that's that seems mean that they put in a bunch of buttons and a puzzle that doesn't do anything. That seems mean. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. And apparently there's something in here that I... Well, let's see what happens if I walk this way. It's a puzzle only if you believe it is. <laughs> Beaver. What's going the on? The lights on an enormous room packed with television Beaver? screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he, he went on this third platform for a minute? To find out. Um, this is not the third platform sign. I would assume that you mean that this is the first one? You can return to the first platform to hit the light switch again to activate a secret disco easter egg. So... You want me to go, you want me to wait at the third platform, right? Because that that's the first, this is the second, and that's the third. So I'll just wait. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Ooh. Each bore the that's number new as well. of an employee. I didn't notice that one. Stanley's co-workers. These numbers have the got to mean something, of so right? many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. The numbers have got to mean something. Okay, so you want to just wait here? Oh, if you don't take the lift, the gate back to the second and first platform will unlock. Okay, so let's let's get the lift down here. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. And we'll wait. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? 
Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? All right, let's wait a little bit. No, Orange Castle, I haven't. Let's wait a little bit and see. Numbers, Mason. Yeah, <laughs> lasagna. Oh. How very interesting. go to the bathroom really quick I'm gonna leave you the music it's awesome I'll be back Gosh, this music is so good. No, he refused to believe it. He <laughs> so couldn't good. accept it. His own life in someone else's Zeppo. control. Never. Thanks for the uh, was resub, Zeppo. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life? Utterly blind to the world. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or All right. content. I'm not going to turn walking, on. Eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded. So there's no way, chat. Place. There's no way and to stop the, the countdown. Reality of his past began right? to sink in. There's no way to stop the countdown. So if I, if I turn on again, exert its the machine, there's no way to stop it. Okay. Over another All right. human life. 
for he dude, would dude. dismantle dude. the controls because what I really want to do for all I've been trying to figure out what these numbered buttons are for but it looks like I in only or in order to get up to the number four I have to turn on the machine um for, at least from what I can see do 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 yeah, those are just red herrings, I guess. They don't do anything. Which means I'm turning off the system. And when at last he found the... That sucks. Remember when the, the data mined it, they hacked the door open and it still didn't do anything? That's Blackness. crazy. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Boom, 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 Was it over? Boom, 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 boom. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him, for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Oh. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Oh, Whatever life he lives, so nice. it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Wait a minute, hold on. Hold on a second. I don't like this. I don't like this. Do, 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 do. It looks like a screen, yeah. I don't like this at all. No. Stanley felt the cool breeze okay. upon his skin. All right. The feeling of liberation. Skyrim starts. The immense possibility <laughs> of the new path okay. before him. All right, maybe. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Do, 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 and do. Stanley was happy. Oh. I beat the game. I got the achievement for beat the game. All right. Do you guys want me to go to Psst. Stanley? Not yet. Come over here. Oh. You don't want to see the cool surprise I made for you? Well, you guys fine. want me to go to 430, don't right? Anyway, so who cares? Oh, Mac hand, really? Do <laughs> do oh, I don't Is there a 430? Oh, you can't go to 430 in this game state. Oh yeah. Oh well. Um I want to go there you said there was one more secret in the TV room. So let's go do the when TV Stanley room. Came to a set of two Real open quick. Doors, he entered the door on his left. We'll go knock that out and see. Yet there was not a single And I can't believe there's no either. way to beat that puzzle. Feeling a wave Fuck. of disbelief. There's Stanley no way to beat that to puzzle. To his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Here's the door. Just go. Eight. Yeah, we did it. Do 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 We did it. Player must reach the monitor room and then press the light bulb button and the player can climb onto the chair and onto the desk. The player can fall to the floor without dying. 
Ooh, is that a glitch or is that planned? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Oh, Orange Kessler, facility. I've done it a bunch of times. The disco music has replaced my elevator music? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Aha! You've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. <laughs> Welcome! You see, back when the Stanley Parable first launched in 2013, getting to the bottom of the mind control facility was a bug oh. that we simply didn't catch during development. And you all sent us lots of photos of it on Twitter and acted very superior about it. <laughs> and you're all very, very clever. Good for you. Anyway, when it came time to update the game, we knew that we had to do something about this little goof of ours. So here you go. New content. You can call it the bottom of the mind control room ending, if that enhances your perception of the value of these updates. <laughs> Isn't that what you crave? New content? Always more content, more content, more, 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 more. <laughs> and I'm here to give it to you. I'm here to make it seem like we really covered every nook and cranny of the game with secrets and Easter eggs. How about this? We wrote a new piece of music just for this section. You won't hear it anywhere else in the game. It's a secret that's just for you. No, it's that's not. Just for me? Are. No. We call this track... Good job, you've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Well done. Good job, you did it. Good job. Three, two, one. Good job, you made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. You jumped on the catwalk. You should have been careful, you should have been careful. It used to be a bug, but now it's an ending, now it's an ending. But I believe in you, I believe in your ability to cross this barrier and chase your dreams. Oh, I spelled you, I spelled your wrong. Don't mean anything. Good job. There you, you go, Lady it. Grizzly. Good job, you did it. 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 Amazing. Good job, you did it. Good job, this is you did it. Amazing. <laughs> and that's actually just the end. <laughs> All right. Somebody said that the secret music replaced my uh, elevator music, and now I have to check. I'm sorry. Stanley, come over here. I know, here. right? Southern oh. Pride. You don't want to see the cool surprise I made for you? Well, fine. You're a dork anyway, so who cares? Good job. You did it. Good job. You did it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I never would have gone back to this unless that vent... It, like, Yet I don't know where the vent is going to lead me. I assume the vent either. is a branching path, but I don't know. A wave of disbelief, oh, I see, Stanley Isaac Schultz. To go oh, no, Isaac Schultz. Office. Hoping he might find an answer. You made me walk all the way here. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Uh, begin the game again. All right, we'll go to the vent. Psst. Stanley, come over here. In the vent. I want to show you something. Oh, okay, test track. You okay, might... you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be, but it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special Ooh. and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Oh, Skyrim room. I want to jump so bad. Every time I press spacebar, nothing happens and I hate it. Guys, that's not part of the game. That's right outside my window. 
That's not part of the game. I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. I mean, it could be part of the game. You, you, you guys, you could be right. That could be part of the, the, my neighbor hammering on things could be part of the game. You would never know. If I didn't tell you, you would never know. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was solid with a cheap re-release? <laughs> Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. <laughs> oh, the waste. It all meant something. Man, Ractus, that'd be so cool. What? How do I get this achievement? How do I get this achievement? What's up, Logis? How? We must, we must get it, chat. Oh, you need to edit a config file? Oh my gosh, never mind. Oh, little Stanley. Oh. And over here now is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. <laughs> Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. <laughs> it's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Oh my gosh, one hour? What a ripoff. What a fucking ripoff. Let me in. Let me into the memory zone maintenance. Let me in. Apparently there's a don't play for 10 years achievement now. See you in 2032. Oh, don't close. I hate when the doors close behind me. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. <laughs> the standard You're just having me read reviews of the game? It's a stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices That's I've the ever new been content? confronted with in a this game. This isn't new content? Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. And this is totally developer masturbation, but as a joke too, as a joke. Wait a minute, hold on a second. I wanna go in the serious room.
Let me in the serious room. What happened? What happened? The serious room is for serious discussions about cheating. I want to go in there. We need to enable console. Okay. Uh, enable console. How do I do that? Oh, in the original, if you use the console, you'd be trapped in the serious room. Oh, you can't. Okay, you can't. All right. Well, then how do I leave? Looks like a dead end. I can only go backwards. Oh, these were simpler times. Oh, the, the maintenance room, of course. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? This looks like Half-Life. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, <laughs> the online video game distributor. <laughs> I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? <laughs> oh, no. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical oh, here's a positive insights one. that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. <laughs> YouTubers can relate? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Twitch streamers, everybody that makes online content. Unfunny! Oh, what's in here? I'm going there so bad. Why do they always put these fucking doors? There's a lot of steam reviews, guys. There's a lot of steam reviews to get through. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. <laughs> This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse. I'm begin. sure these are real reviews. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable. Justice, that'd be amazing. I'm sure remembered. they've already been told, but. What's over there? I want to go over there. Hungry Computer. I wonder if they disguised their, uh, their usernames. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. <laughs> a skip button? <laughs> well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Oh no, the skip button, there it is. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second mine. 
Oh, you're back, you see. You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and... <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45... Stanley! <laughs> yeah, the clock Stanley, is changing. Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's the been 12 hours. <laughs> You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. <laughs> oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I... I think it's been a week. Or two weeks? <laughs> I'm gonna skip as fast as I possibly oh, can. Hello, it's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we... <laughs> I wonder if he really talks for a week straight. That's a great question. That's a great question. Did he die? Did I skip it? Did I skip so far ahead in time? Yeah, the plant is dead. Let's see here. The plant is dead. The chair's still there. The clock has gone around a million times. I can't leave. What is that, the smoke alarm? Oh, they'll change the battery for the clock. <laughs> but they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned, they screamed, they gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's. <laughs> I don't. I just saw the pipe leak a little bit. Yeah, pipes leaking a little bit. I wonder what happens to it. Is it going to be a really the bad leak? Is never the end. 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 The leak's getting worse. Is never the end. 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 There we go. Leak's getting worse. <laughs> All right, the pipes broke. Got it. I don't know why they shut me in. Oh, good. Okay. You think the narrator's dead? Did he die? Did the narrator die? Oh, beautiful. Oh no, what happened? Wait, what happened there? Why did everything die? I was wondering when the button was going to break eventually. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try and skip more, but I don't think I can. Yeah, it's broken. It's broken.
<laughs> Isaac. Well, that narrator is long dead. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go knock on 430. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go, oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? <laughs> Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Come on, I've done it a lot. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. You motherfucker. You motherfucker. Oh, I hate you so much. I hate you no, so no, much. I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? No. Give me the 430. Give me this. Give me this one. Give me this one. Come on! Give me this one! Video game? Give me video game? Video game? There's no way it's going to give me something, right? There's no way. Ah. Bastards. Dirty bastards. Oh, great. <laughs> now, go click a few times on door 437. What? This. This is. Unconscionable. Unconscionable. Is there a 420 room? Well, he wanted 437, so hold on. This is 420. You wanted 420. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm not. I know I'm not. You wanted 420. Chat wanted 420. I'm aware that I passed it. So I'm doing 420 for you guys. Nothing happened. Just so you know. Alright, chat. Just so you know. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. This is this is gonna amount to nothing. This is gonna amount to nothing, and I'm gonna be upset. No, I'm not going to the new content. Now, back to door number 437. This is the worst. This is the worst. I hate what he's doing to me. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? You bastards. All right. Back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Bastards. Playing me like a fiddle. Oops. Playing me like a fiddle. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. Ghost skill, thank you for the resub, ghost skill. How do I get up there? Yes, this is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. <laughs> 416. All right, hold on. 415. 
I don't, I don't, I haven't seen, uh, Wait a minute, hold on. Is there no door 416? Is he fucking with me? Oh, 416 is the new content door? Well, it's open. I can't knock on it. That does... Oh, that's a bastard. It says right there, new content on it. I got scammed. I got fucking scammed. Yeah, I'll click it anyways. Uh, I can't really click it. Oh, good. You notice my sign. Yes, I have oh. something very exciting to show you. I mean, I didn't reset. I didn't reset anything. I just walked through the door. Yeah, I didn't. I just walked through the door. I didn't do anything. I got scammed. Is what happened to me. I got scammed. Let's try it again. Stanley knew the office left. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? <laughs> Let's do it again. Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. Oh, is it broken no. for sure, Red 13? merits away for such little effort. A measly five Is it broken clicks. for sure? Now suppose it you is? were to okay. click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants All right, so I, I have to do the new content stuff, so. All right. Got to do the new, new content stuff first. Sometimes it's a bug, sometimes it's a feature. Oh, good. You notice my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. Sometimes it's a bug, sometimes it's meant to happen. I already did, I already did this. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. I agree. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. <laughs> Taste the sequel. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. Overwatch 2 vibes. Wow, look at these beautiful logos they've made <laughs> in Photoshop. All right, no, that's actually in sheets. Pardon me. Wow, very nice. <laughs> now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. Yeah. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. 
That sounds like Bioware magic to me. You want me to look at the whiteboard in the previous room? Sequels are good. Portal 2, Half-Life 2, Arkham Asylum 2, City. Divinity Original Sin, Doom 2, Aladdin 2, Dark Souls 2. <laughs> Who took the red marker? Me. <laughs> That's right, this is how Call of Duty is made, exactly. Exactly. The reassurance bucket. <laughs> Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. A button that says the name of the player playing the game? Wait a minute, hold on. Where's the button? For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated <coughs> as people. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name. What? Whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience oh, come of the feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I Jim. Whoa, 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 hold on. I wasn't finished setting <laughs> okay, up the Swiss, backstory. Okay, Swiss, thanks for the reset. If you don't okay, properly Swiss. role play as Jim, then you'll never understand the impact of this button. Otherwise, it's just a stupid button that says somebody else's name. Okay, we're doing it again, and this time let me this finish This is bullshit, first. guys. <clears throat> this is bullshit. Now, allow yourself to become Jim. Jim. All right, fine, whatever. <laughs> it's just a meaningless button that says Jim. Are you happy now? Get out of here. <laughs> I'm done with this button. Why don't you go humiliate me in front of a different feature that I work very hard on? All right, Goose, is the hype train? Hype train's ready to go. Uh, anytime you guys want to beat a hype train, I'll only let I'm giving away two Jim copies of this game. Two they copies of would appreciate what I've created here. Whenever we beat a hype train, I give away two copies of the Stanley Parable Del uh, Ultra Deluxe Edition. On whatever console you want, too, because I think it's on on console now, too. Oh, collectibles! Jump circle. Thanks, pseudo Swede, for the bits. We got five more events to start it. Ooh. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be oh, no reward thank you, candles. for collecting all of them. The 200 I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. <laughs> unremarkable life? How dare you? Boy, that felt real God, good. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. That felt really good, guys. Red, what's what's Red, what's going on, buddy? Oh, goodness, um, Stanley, this is fairly awkward. I hate to do this, but before you leave, you really should go to the bucket exhibit. You see, there's a surprise <laughs> Don't worry, Red. It's going to be all right, baby. Later, and it involves the bucket. And I really do hate to I do the infinite the ocean, hole. But it's important that you go see the bucket, okay? All right, I'll get out of your hair now. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a uh, right, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know that I'm heading to the exit. The first time Just walking around. The jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. But also, even if I wanted to go to the exit, it's okay. It's alright. Why can't I jump? 
Give me more jumps! Damn it. I want more jumps. Uh, four more events to start the hype train. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yeah. yet decided Thank on you, this Shazbot. one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I've oh. undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy Twelfth Birthday. Which would you go with? Get you well know, Someday. Sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you <laughs> actually kidding. really wanted all along. <coughs> Happy Twelfth Birthday, step niece it is. I didn't pick that one. No, I picked this one. The fuck. <coughs> or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. All right, let's get the really easy achievement. Pull the lever. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. <laughs> yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. There's no way, right? Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement <laughs> is still fully broken. I knew it. a wizard stamp. I knew it. But I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous I'm trying to hold it down. The world who have been uproariously demanding I fucking knew it. Gamers, we hear you. And I promise it will happen. This is bull shit. This is bullshit. I knew it. I knew they were going to fuck me. That's all this game does is fuck me. And not in a good way. All right, let's go do the bucket and the infinite hole. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Where's the infinite hole? Where's the infinite hole? Ghost skill. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. <laughs> is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. We're gonna get it, guys. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly We're gonna get it. deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite We're gonna get it, guys. is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. <laughs> you found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall in Cigarettes. I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Uh, things I didn't get an achievement for that. There. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the whole mostly infinite? All right. If that works for you, then go ahead. I and guess press it's the not really mostly infinite. It's actually not infinite at all. And we can move on. Something is either I'll infinite or not, right? Ready. Great. Now I'm very excited to show you even. Oh, for heaven! <laughs> you see, I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. 
A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there, goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to it you did. this time? It I did. I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole. Of course I like. Who doesn't like think holes? It was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. Gosh, how could I have guessed? <laughs> You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where... Wow. Okay. Adam! Yes. Thank you, Adam, I'm for the reason. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. It is. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame... How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. Is the um, no, it's not teleport working. button not working? You sure? Well, I mean... I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Uh, is he Try teasing me? Is he fucking with me? He's fucking with me. How dare Still him? Still nothing. How well, dare I suppose, him? Uh, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. What? It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole. I get to do literally anything else. What? Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the whole have a wonderful rest of eternity. <laughs> He's walking away. The fuck? All right, well. Let's go ahead and hang out, I guess. Okay. Hey, you know what? Ugh. I got the same patience and tolerance as the narrator. What the, what the hell? Oh, is it, it's turning into Subnautica. No, there isn't, Saren. Is it becoming infinite? I can't move when I do that. <laughs> the music is really good in this game. All right, I will change my perception too. Sword. <gasps> oh my gosh. Puppies. Oh, Frida's. A bunch of Frida's. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that at all.
It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up yeah. to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? That's fine. From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in That's this okay, hole, yeah. and I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. Okay. We'll see what happens to the hole now. I miss those puppies, though. I miss those puppies. Well, that's a big load there. Oh. <laughs> Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Okay, where's the bucket? The reassurance bucket. You bet, Tesseract, on purpose. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. <laughs> you see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and okay. perhaps even comforting. This sounds nice. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your <laughs> arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? <laughs> I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable. Thank you very much, Red. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the bucket with me then, huh? Take the bucket with me. Busy! What's up, Biz? Thank you very much, Fred. I appreciate it. Busy? Thanks for the tier three, Does biz. anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket? Here says that hype train's ready to go at any point it in time. Really should be an award if it isn't already. Whenever we beat it, I give away this game. Two copies of it, actually. I want to see the merch. I want to get the merch. That QR code in front of you works. Here, go ahead and uh, scan it. Scan it. Tell me where it goes. I'll here. I'll do it too. I'll do it too. Does it just go to StanleyParable2.com? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> I don't care. I got my bucket. The infinite hole changed to mostly infinite hole. All right, I think I did. Wait, what's the settings world champion? Free achievement didn't work. Button doesn't work. What is this? What's the settings world champion? Must 
What's up, uh, Wildly Coyote? Read the settings achievement. I don't. What, what do you mean? I'm not sure what you mean by that. I don't have the achievements pulled up. You have to speed run the settings menu. Where? It shows it on the map, but I'm trying to figure out where it is on that map. Uh, Lair. Thank you, Lair, for the resub very much. Do you mean just click all of them? Is that what you mean? Oh no, I inverted it. Uh, Light Hunter, yeah, it's, it's on my uh, YouTube. You have to mess with every setting in Slider? Oh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, what about the epilogue? Where is the epilogue? Looks like the epilogue is through here to the right. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the... Um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. What? That's it? Well, that sucks. That's not an epilogue. <laughs> Turbid, it didn't, the raid didn't work. Just so you know, I thank you for bringing him over, but I don't think it worked. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see a raid on my uh, activity feed. But thanks for coming over, everybody, from Turbid. This bag, I see, oh, I see these bags everywhere. I know, right, Abyssarek? It's true. <laughs> no screenshots. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> Okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. <laughs> Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. Ooh, that's worse. <sighs> that's way worse. Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Peacefully, of course, with respect, with care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could, but it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley <laughs> Parable right. 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Oh, very nice.
This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a... Alright, so now we've started over. Oh, the balloons are everywhere! All of his co-workers were... Oh, please. Are you really so just we gotta do doing this, this now. for the achievement? We gotta do the achievement. Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. You can I jump out of the window near the beginning. Away for such little effort. Is there a, a window? Five Are these clicks? open? Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that... Oh, it's hard to do, mission. yeah. Hmm... I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. How dare you. How dare you. No, no. Hey, I'm Joe! I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant Thank you, something. Joe. It has to be a, a true for reward five for subs valiant to, uh, effort. I want to see some Zach Rayner, hustle, Stanley. Big Duck Energy. I want to see commitment. A willingness uh, to clarity? go all the way, no matter what the cost. Crosby. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door Burden number 417? Thank you, Joe, as always, for gifting five subs to me and the gooses. Stanley felt the bucket calling to him, begging him to pick it up. Why was he not doing it? Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. What's up, Bright Shining Wolf? 437 is like right here. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. <laughs> no, I won't touch the bucket yet. No bucket yet. Now, back to door number 437. You want <laughs> What was it? 437? We're going back to 437 now? Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine. All right. Back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. So this is where it glitched out before. Okay. Now go climb on employee 419's desk. Yes. This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. 416 we couldn't reach before, right? Uh, strapped Wolf gifted to Bright Shining Wolf. Oh, Wolf begets Wolf. Uh, pain Face. Uh, pain Face, thanks for the reset. Jom! Gifting five more subs to Grizzy and Chris Sun. Uh, Kill Zone, Ghost Fox, Brimstone Flame. Gooses, now's the time maybe to start a hype train because... Uh, might be a little far along here. Four events to start one? Three events to start a hype train? We've almost got it! Now the copy machine do that one again! <laughs> <laughs> that hype train may be starting pretty soon. Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door 430! Oh no, did I... I know, seriously, he's gonna coom, guys. Yes! We did it! <laughs> oh, wow. That felt amazing. <laughs> oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? Thanks, Pseudo Sweep, for the bit. Stanley picked up the bucket. All right. Here we go. Gooses, we are, let's see here. One, two, three, four. Three more events to start it. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Three Still more to start the hype train. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Oh, broom closet! Perhaps his boss's office was a Stanley. Can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Oh, no. 
We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? That your relationship is purely superficial know, and Kento. convenient? That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I'd never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on no, the wide variety of experiences. This is three more you events to start the hype train. Together. Three more. Go through John's, each of them John's point trying to get it started. Point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich be and bits, landscape Calbex, of your five feelings short. for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. No. I want to drop the bucket here. I want to I want to leave the bucket here in the broom closet. Okay, I've got you something which I think, think will Sharpie? help settle this Sharpie. debate once and for all. Here we go. Oh! There. Now it's settled. No more debate, no more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. No. I'm leaving it. I don't right, want the bucket. I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. <laughs> you see? I feel it's a that sticker it of a bucket because the sticker is also the a one they bucket. call Dan. Thank that you for way, the resub. Pink sure Sharpie, thanks for the, the 200 bits. Holding is a bucket or not? You can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, oh, "There it is." Tesseract's got it. There really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. Tesseract started it. All right, gooses, we got a broom closet hype train going. We got a broom closet hype train. You know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. And to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. I really want to leave this bucket here, but I don't think I can. Is that as far as that bucket content goes? We're in uh, level one of the hype train gooses. <laughs> when we beat level five, I give away two copies of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition on whatever platform you want. Two copies of this video game. Is that it? Red, thir red 13? Red 13? The bucket actually changes everything. Yeah, it's okay. Right. I wish the bucket Coming was included. Stanley. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Uh, they probably cast the voice actor afterward. Nice Suki. Thank you, Nice Suki, for the reset very much. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. <laughs> was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Monster Lens? Yes. This is certainly the most Thank you, Monster Lens, for the resub. Level two? <laughs> I did not guess it by sheer luck, guys. I knew what I was doing. I knew what I was doing. I'm gonna see if the secret- The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be <laughs> all sponge. Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. I want to see, uh... Stanley and the Bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. You know what? I want to try something. 
the lights rose on an enormous room hey. packed with television GMO? screens. Or any JMO, pardon me. Painted Ford from Dirty hold. Bird. Stanley in the bucket. To Angry Rainbow. Angry Rainbow spread that love a little bit. Thanks, uh, Ed JMO. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped. Yeah, I don't know, Red. Monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears. <laughs> but Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raised furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I just said Stanley's feeble mind. Wait a minute. We're gonna wait till those doors open. I'm gonna go back and press the disco button. Yeah, Logis. Oh yeah, red. I didn't even notice that. We're gonna wait until those doors open. It would make sense, Blossom. Two minutes left on the hype train. We're only in level two right now. When we beat it, I give away two copies of this video game. In honor of Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> and I'll send you a bucket. I will Amazon you a bucket. If we beat the hype train. For real. We gotta beat the hype train. We gotta beat the hype train. <laughs> Will it come with stickers? Uh, uh. Kids. But the hype train's in danger of dying anyways. Hipcats, thank you very much for gifting to Big Head Zack. Hey, Big Head Zack, pay it forward. Thanks, Hipcats. Red? Paying it forward from atomized Taractus. Oh! Wolf almost got us to level three. Wolf gifting a huge bomb to Sasha, Red Ahead, Directional Joy, Derek K, hey, Homebro, Tiny Timbo, Smilo, Queen Butternut, Sag. Oh, there it is. There it is. Level three. Thanks to Wolf, Tesseract, and Pink Sharpie. Thanks, Wolf, for that massive bomb. Cryptic Wolf, Steven, W. Free. Thank you, Esmond! We're getting to talk! Four Amber, gifting the baby Taz. This board gifting another five. 
Miss Warren gets it to Night Cold, eight to two. Hugs of Love, Robotron, and Rain, a uh, Rainy Marv. Ugh. We're gonna get to that bucket, everybody. We're halfway through the hype train right now. When we beat the hype train, I give away two copies of this game, and I'm gonna try and get you two buckets. If you're an international, I'm gonna send you money for a bucket. If you live in the United States, I'm gonna send you a bucket. Firecloud, I know, right? It's awesome. I will absolutely pick out the bucket if you live in the United States. What kind of bucket? I don't, it's gonna be a totally, you'll never know what kind of bucket shows up at your house. It might be. Might be this bucket. It could be another bucket. It could be a tin bucket. Pink Sharpie, thank you for gifting to Doc Ziggles, Mass Quartet, Treble Driver, Calamity, Andrew Plays, and A. Marty. Thank you, Pink Sharpie, for going ham, going fucking crazy. This stream, Guy V wants to see the bucket. Yeah, I might send you a tin bucket. I just did, Isaac. Did you miss it? I mean, that's not going to happen. Like solos. <laughs> that's not going to happen. That has to travel all the way across the country a bunch of, like, three times. Twisted Soul Gifting, The Easy Nugget, Mad Club, Sandro Plays, Cody Siesta, and $5 Horus. Thank you, Twisted Soul. Mistborn. Gifted five subs to help me, Dad, please. Costas, Wigsy. Uh, Meteoric Indigo and Jay Snicks, thank you, Miss Borna, again for gifting 15. Abyssaric painted forward from King Splicer to McQueen. Nice rabbit. Gosh, there's so much bucket hype right here. There's so much bucket hype. This morning, I never would have guessed. I never would have bucket. Abyssaric, thank you Abyssaric, for gifting the queen, ghost skill gifting five subs to Classy Taco, Woody Explorer, Rock Hammer Cock, Inner Rooper, King Golden Panda, thank you ghost skill, Guy V, thanks for the 600 bits, Mistborn, 20 subs from Mistborn, Mistborn wants to see these buckets go out, gift to the Grey Wolf, Breaker, T-Man, Wallace, Poor Gamer Dad, Nothing's in the bucket. Thanks, Twisted Soul. I use that bucket for scuba diving in Subnautica. That's what I used it for. <laughs> Guy V. Thank you, Guy V. Forgive me the white loaf of Flash Jackson, Spartan Ted, Walro, and Aaron in place. Thank you, Guy V. We got one more level to go before we beat this hype train, and I give away two copies of this game and two 
buckets. So many buckets. You don't have to clean your bucket. Look. There's a hair in there. There's some lint. It's all good. Oh my gosh. Leave it to Rabbit and Wolf, man. White Rabbit, get the 10 more subs to Saxy Boy, Octane, Wolf Garb, Amdor, Heavenly Chair, Biker Patch, Bill Bob, Cold Clutch, Slash Admin, Old and Harry. Do something nice for someone else. We got gifted from White Rabbit Object. Very, very much. Do something nice. Pay it forward, and I don't mean another sub. I just mean anything nice for anybody else. Whoa! Trap Wolf, give it 25. The Cyphus, Diabologist, God's Reign, RN Arctic, MG Juniper, The Ark, uh, Downbeat Hydra, Cat Havoc, Lano Lano, Velasa Bleca, uh, Louis Key, C. Sedman, Oxyopian, Only Midnight, Newt's Meat, Jack the Mac, 25 from Strapped Wolf, 10 from White Rabbit Object, and Mistborn is now gifted 25 subs as well. Mistborn gets it to Exar Coon, Stormy, Words and Emotions, uh, Assay El Jefe Y and Reanimate. Uh, uh, uh. Just about to beat it. We're just about to beat it. I'm gonna start playing the whistle. I'm gonna start playing the whistle. Playing along with the song. Here we go. Here's the the flute solo. <laughs> Stream is. I don't know what we're doing. I'm not sure. I'm giving away buckets. Pink Sharpie. Thanks for the bits, Pink Sharpie. I don't know what we're doing. Who knows? Pseudo Sweet painted forward from Cable to Sindor. Cable would love that. If they're, hopefully they're still here. Thank you, Pseudo Sweet. Tesseract with one thousand bits. There's so much chaos. I love it. It's a bu it's, it's, this is what's known as a bucket celebration. Guys, we have 10% left on the hype train. <laughs> Guy V, I wouldn't be able to. 10% <laughs> left on the hype train. 8% left. Buy a cat. Thanks for the resub. Oh, okay, Painface. Painface knows the name of the song. Runs with Sheep. Thanks for the reset. Runs with Sheep. Who, who would have guessed that if I said I was going to give away buckets, we would beat a hype train? I, I honestly never would have guessed. Iliad, Quiet Cat with 300 bits after the reset. Thank you, Wooberry, Quiet Cat. Standard Kyle finished it up for buckets. What the fuck is going on? Alright guys, we did it. Standard Kyle gifted, painted forward, from Langium, to Hulkin' Out, Sendrak, Jaff, Rogue K-Town, and Second, Second Insider. Thank you Standard Kyle for painting forward times five. 
and the duck fat fries. Continued the gift sub. Thank you, duck fat. No. Let's finish this up. Oh, we'll, do the, we'll do the bucket giveaway. Let's finish this up. We'll do the bucket giveaway. Miss Porn, that, those are huge bombs, Miss Porn. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. <laughs> Let's finish up this game. I'm curious to see what happens. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. I'm curious to see what happens when uh, emotions, happy, you can't stop the countdown with the bucket. Tent. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this... But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. <laughs> Stanley gasped in horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? <laughs> Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. The bucket. Oh! Birds. Silly, silly birds. The control buttons became active again. Oh! Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. <laughs> the mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the Bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place. Wow. Flipping through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. And Stanley was happy. Guys, I think I got the best ending. I think I got the best ending. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it right there. I'm going to end it right there.